Have you ever heard of a diverging diamond interchange? Sounds complicated, but it's a new traffic pattern that's supposed to make getting around a stretch of Washington County a little easier. John Shumway is live tonight with more. John. Yeah, and there's definitely a learning curve involved in using this thing behind me. Myrtland Avenue, I-79, this is the interchange. Before it was redesigned, first responders were here all the time on accidents. They've actually been using this and under traffic for almost a year now. They just got to the point of cutting the ribbon today. And in that year, there has been one accident. Since the first day you took the wheel, you've been taught to drive on the right side of the road. So the diverging diamond intersection at Myrtland Avenue is a muscle memory and cognitive shock. Oh, this is crazy, man. A little different. And that difference is all about safety and reducing the prime point of accidents. There are no left turning and through movements that it will be making contact with each other anymore. They're all merging uh, movements. Keeps traffic moving pretty good. Other parts of the country that have built diverging diamond intersections have seen a reduction in overall accidents of 40%. T-bone accidents down 70 percent. Drivers tell me the first time I come down through here, I about got side swiped. It's more roomier. I like it. I like it a lot. And so does PennDOT, which is currently designing three more in eastern Pennsylvania and is considering a diverging diamond for Route 51 and I-70. That's going to be our first, first preferred alternative we look at. We're excited about it. South Point in 79 is another candidate for a diverging diamond. And I asked Secretary of Transportation Leslie Richards if a diverging diamond would be appropriate at the always congested Wexford I-79 interchange. It increases safety and it increases traffic flow. So it's absolutely something we will look at. Now, while the work is actively going on on those three in eastern Pennsylvania, the timetable is a little more vague here in western Pennsylvania. Route 51 and I-70 looks like it would be the first to get an interchange like this. But this has been so successful, PennDOT truly is excited about it and makes this want to happen. Live in Washington, PA, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.